So I've got this shark freestyle navigator and the button here doesn't seem to be working. So um, you can hit it a bunch of times and you really have to slap it to get it to go. So I'm going to try to take this out and clean the contactors and see what may be inside of it. And maybe we can get this thing going again because uh, it still works, but there's something wrong with the switch. So I'm going to start by taking the Phillips head screws out of the back. Okay, so there's, uh, you gotta take the battery out, there's a screw in there, and you need to take this off uh, the cover that goes over that, because there's a screw in there. There might also be one in here, I'm not sure, we'll find out. There is a screw in there, I just took a screwdriver and slid that up out. Okay, after the screws are out, you gotta drop this down, this becomes loose. And then you could pop it off of here. Okay, there's a spring for the uh, there's a spring for this button that is right there, and this is where it'll disconnect, and I'll clean it out. Okay, so after review, this right here is the actual switch, not uh, not this. This is just. It just just LEDs to light up which side, uh, whether the it's bare floor or carpet. So this is what's going to be doing our actual work. So we'll see if we can clean that out. Okay. So watch this. If I push it straight down, nothing happens. Nothing happens. If I start wiggling to the side. It starts to work so switch is definitely the problem um, if I can't clean it and make it work I will replace it I'm sure I can order this online for fairly cheap so we'll see okay so I'm just gonna take a cotton swab with a little bit of alcohol on it and touch that and get it down in there and then I am going to work this button around. If you have compressed air, can of compressed air or an air compressor, it probably wouldn't hurt to blow this out. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for a couple minutes, and we will put the uh, rest of the motor back on here, and we'll see if it works. Okay, so I just disconnected the battery and uh, replugged it in. I did it twice, so I know the result, but the battery is dead. I'm going to turn it back on. It'll go for a couple seconds and then shut off. I haven't used this in a long time just simply because of this issue, so that's probably definitely the problem. So charge it we should be good thanks for watching i hope this video helps you if it does please subscribe to my channel like the video any of that helps thanks okay so i cleaned the switch you saw that and uh now i brought it home let it charge and one two all is well it's working this thing is pretty much perfect for hardwoods uh, hardwood floors or even the kitchen Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you. If it does, please subscribe to my channel. That helps me out and I appreciate it. Thanks.